comes from uh, Toronto. He's been featured on stage alongside such acts as The Temptations and Ear Supply and Gladys Knight, among others. I met him this week. He's a peach of a guy and a very, very funny man. Ladies and gentlemen, Evan Carter. How are you, Halifax? All right. That's fabulous. You know what? Tonight we're going to talk about uh, age. I'm getting older. I'm 49 now, and uh, I'm going to be 50 in a couple of months. And, you know, that's uh, not too bad, because I figure two years from that, uh, I'll be back in diapers. <laughs> and, you know, they tell us that when you're wearing the Depends and the Attends and all stuff like that, that they're discreet. How can they? You're wearing a gym mat around your crotch. How can they be, you know? <laughs> Discreet. Nobody knows you're wearing them at the dinner party. No, they're just wondering why you're two feet higher off the table than everybody else. <laughs> As I get older, I find that I don't trust new fangled gadgets anymore. All the new stuff that's coming out, I just don't trust it. Like I do not trust low flow toilets. <laughs> I, I don't. Do you, you ever flush a low flow toilet? You flush a low flow toilet and you just stand there and go, I don't know if this is going to make it. And if you're at somebody else's house, you're going, where's that plunger? Because I just don't know. Because I could be pumping this handle to Thanksgiving, because I just don't know if this is going down today on this. Because I grew up in the 50s and 60s when they had toilets, my friends. Oh, man, one flush, 40 gallons. That was it. You could put in a 1965 Buick LeSabre. Hit the handle, two seconds later, that puppy pops up in the Gulf of Mexico. That's a toilet. That's a toilet. Now you hit the handle. Uh, yeah, here we go. It's just dental floss, but here we go. See, with a lot of boomers, we're, we're, we're taking all that anti-depression medication. That stuff's selling like hotcakes, boy. That's, uh... Oh, I should have bought stock in that stuff, uh, you know, like, you're, and you see the commercials for these, 60 second commercials, 10 seconds on how it's going to make you feel better, 50 seconds on the side effects. <laughs> oh, you're not going to be able to sleep, you're going to have a rash, you're going to be irritable, and of course, frequent diarrhea. <laughs> Those were the four reasons I was depressed in the first place. <laughs> I don't need a prescription for that. I can dial it up anytime I want. Holy smokes, you try, and you know what? I try and calm down, because I realize, you know, I'm losing, I'm getting to that age where, where like, I'm phoning friends up just to see if they're still alive. <laughs> you just phone me, hi, I thought you were dead. I'll call you, yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. Maybe I'll be luckier, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe it'll work out in my favor. I'm realizing that you gotta calm down, you know, just to sort of, you know, be relaxed and enjoy the moment, and that way you'll, you know, you'll live longer. So what I do, I watch sports. Got into it. Winter Olympics, we did okay in the Winter Olympics. You know, yeah, we got, exactly. Yeah. I like 24 medals, we wanted 25, but that's okay. We came up all right. Now, Summer Olympics, a couple years ago in Athens, wasn't one of our best ones. No, we got like 12 medals, and a couple of ashtrays from the hotel. <laughs> Wasn't a good one. But I wanted to watch the Summer Olympics. Wanted to relax while I did it. So I did it. Got a cottage a couple hours north of Toronto. Went up there with the family. I'm going to relax watching the Olympics, cheering our team on. Everything's going perfect that day. Got the satellite dish pointed towards the heavens. I'm sitting in front of the TV. Got a bottle of rye in one hand. No mix. Don't want to rot my teeth. <laughs> The kids are playing down at the lake. Wife sitting on the deck reading a magazine titled, 50% of the crap is all yours. <laughs> She's in heaven. I'm watching the Olympics, and I'm watching this, you know, and one of our guys, see, you know, it drives me crazy because Canadians, we are loved wherever we go out throughout the world. But I wish we had that winner-take-all attitude that our neighbors south of the border had every once in a while. Because, you know, we get, we, we're just a little too spongy every once in a while. And I'm watching the Olympics. One of our Canadians guys, 
He's in a race. He finishes 32nd in the race. One of our better days. <laughs> finishes 32nd. He gets interviewed, and he gives that Canadian answer that drives me crazy. They come up and go, so, how do you feel? Gives the Canadian answer. Well, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> That's when I lost it. Well, I'm not happy you're there. <laughs> you finished 32nd. You got beat by 31 people from countries with no food. <laughs> You know what you are if you're in another country and you're happy to be there? You're a tourist. What the hell are you doing over there? We didn't send you over there to exchange email addresses. We sent you over there to win. How did you get on the team? Did you write the best essay? What the hell is wrong with you? Happy to be there. 2008, why don't we go? All of us, we'll go to Beijing. Don't even train. Don't even train. We'll be running into the stadium there. And here comes Canada. We're just going out. We got a cigarette and a double-double, you know. Got the flag draped behind us like a Superman cape. Uh, Canada. Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, I'm just happy to be here. How many people we got in the stadium? 70, 80,000? Yeah, that's okay. Come on, it's on me. We're going for dim sum. Come on, come on. So I got myself so worked up that I actually caused a, 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 a piece of my tooth to shift in my jaw. So to calm me down, my wife gives me one of her Tylenol 4s. Have you ever heard of Tylenol 4? No. I thought there was Tylenol, extra strength Tylenol, and then heroin. Well, above heroin is Tylenol 4. Tylenol 4 is the perfect tablet you take when you go to that family Christmas dinner you don't want to be at. People come up, they go, you know what? I don't like the gift you gave me. I don't think you put a lot of thought into it. And you go, I don't care. I'm on Tylenol 4. I can't feel anything below my forehead. I'm just happy to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to be in Halifax. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you, good night.